Hello everyone, I'm Pacific Casual Gamer, and welcome back to another video. And in this video, I want to tell you guys the difference between log spikes and wood spikes in Seven Days to Die, and which one is better. Now, if you don't know, the log spikes are the big block type uh, bricks uh, that you can use in Seven Days to Die, and the wood spikes are the ones that are all little tiny pointy spikes together. And one is not actually better than the other. It's the uses of them that are different. So we'll start with the log spikes. They take 20 wood to build. They can be upgraded like any log, or sorry, any block. And if you upgrade it, as health goes all the way down, it goes backwards one upgrade spot. So they last a really long time. They're gonna do damage to the zombies, not as much as the wood spikes, but the wood log spikes are obviously cheaper to make and you can upgrade them, making them longer lasting. These are treated more as a block, so spider zombies can climb them, zombies climb them, all that stuff. You can also rotate them to point different directions. They have a back to them. And now we're gonna move on to the wood spikes, which cost 100 wood now, uh, at least on Xbox, and do a lot more damage, but can't be upgraded. Those are more like barbed wire. Think of them as like World War I type barbed wire. If you put the wood spikes down, the zombies can walk through them slowly, but they can still walk through them. But they're gonna take a lot of damage walking through them. The log spikes, they're gonna have to beat up and they're gonna take damage constantly. And this is where a defense strategy comes into play. My favorite strategy is more log spikes, a lot wooden log spikes than actual punji stick wood spikes, but I combine both of them. If I have a gun, I'm going to put a ring of ring or two of wood spikes around so that my accuracy is easier to use, especially with a bow. Also, when you're running around just in the middle of nowhere, wood log spikes can make a great will not make a great alternative weapon while the log the normal spikes that make this this shape those are excellent weapons. You can just put it down in front of you, you know, turn around, zombie's chasing you, you put it down and the zombie gets stuck in it, you can run away. With the big fat spikes, you can't do that. But there's a lot of different combos you can make with these things. For instance, if you dig one spot down, you know, so you make a floor of normal log spikes, you can put the wood spikes on top of them so the zombies not only take damage from the log spikes, but also the normal spikes as well, so you can double up damage as well as, you know, maybe do a, you could even use barbed wire and make a barbed wire wall so they take a bunch of damage. There's all sorts of things you can do with these spikes. Me, I usually build a big base with a big ginormous wall of log spikes and then just a couple little wood spikes here because wood spikes are more expensive. I find that once I get into iron and steel tools, I make more of the, uh, these types of spikes than the normal spikes. But that's just me. Um, these things are also really good because they cost wood. You know, barbed wire costs iron, and iron is not very valuable, or very, very plentiful in the beginning, I should say. But let me know what you think in the comments below. That's my thoughts on the log spikes versus the wood spikes. If you enjoyed this video, you tell me in the comments below. I'm Pacific Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I will see you in the next episode, stream vlog, or stream it post of whatever I decide to make.